We'll see the Giants and Chiefs, a series New York leads 11 to three, dating back to 1974. But this is their first time facing Patrick Mahomes. All the action is headed your way next. From one of the loudest venues in the National Football League, you get a look there at GHA Field at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. The scene just a few moments ago, predictably loud and raucous here at Arrowhead as their beloved Chiefs took field, and they are set to match up with the New York Giants. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Chiefs ball club. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. On the other side of the field for the visiting Giants, they were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win. Lurching closer toward the midway point of this NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Giants ready to go to work on offense and leading him out, their third-year quarterback from Duke, Daniel Jones. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some, they threw it accurately. One touchdown pass, so he didn't you know, break the bank doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that doesn't put them in bad situations. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So Charles, you were talking about this offense in this week eight of the 2021 campaign. Now, normally this would be the halfway point of the season, but as we all know, it's now a 17-game regular season. And because of that, it seems like now maybe more than ever, getting your open week to occur later in the season, that could be a pretty big advantage. Brandon, it's always been a big advantage, and now, as you pointed out, the possibility of it becoming huge, likely. Most teams want that later open date because of injuries, you know, getting that rest before the playoff push, all of those things. Sometimes when you get an open date early in the season, it's not very much of an advantage. You might be playing well, now slows down your momentum. This is a big deal, and teams definitely want to get the later, the better. Nick Burton there on the tackle. Throwing Jones. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 47. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. The Charles first drive here, a little safe completion underneath. Maybe get some rhythm, get your feet wet, so to speak. I agree, and I like it because it's a lot like a basketball game when you're getting started and you pass the ball around so everyone touches it early and gets involved in the game. In this case, it's not just dumping it to a back and he's able to run with the ball, but you get your offensive linemen involved because they get to get out and run and hit people in the open field. Everyone getting their feet wet early. He punted five times in the win last week as this one's away. It was just a 30-yard punt that time, no return. And it's Chiefs football, first and 10. And the Chiefs offense now ready to go to work for the first time, led by Patrick Mahomes, the 2018 NFL Most Valuable Player. And no excitement, unless, the, unless you're on the defensive team of last week, in his numbers, because the only excitement he really generated was the one interception he threw. Yeah, no touchdown passes. Yeah, and his team wasn't real thrilled about that. And they lost the game. So, trying to get it to Robinson, and it's intercepted. Picked up by the USC man, Adoree Jackson. Well, certainly not how he wanted to start his night. First throw of the game, an INT. Yeah, it's not easy, but he's got to try and wipe that one away from the memory banks. And let's face it, it's not often a quarterback and a defensive back have a lot in common. But one thing, because they have these individual type plays, they've got to have short memories, don't they? DB gets beat, wipe it away, quarterback throws a pick, has to do the same thing. And he is out of bounds inside the 30.
Throwing again on second down. Jones. And he's able to get it down to the 25-yard line. Call it a three-yard gain, and they'll be faced with a third and inches. Now Jones. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. The drive stays alive, a third down gain of eight. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Jones with a handoff to Barkley. And he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. A handoff to Barkley. And effective running here. He'll take it down inside the 10. From the gun on third down, Jones toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. On fourth down, Joe Judge makes the decision. They're going for it. And they'll run for it with Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Giants are on the board first here on the road in Kansas City. So a big decision there to go on fourth down. Gets him not only the first, but gets him the touchdown as well. And Brandon, you and I know that all these coaches tell us if every play is executed the way it's designed, it goes for a touchdown. But let's be honest, they were shooting for the first down on that one. And boy, were they fortunate to take it all the way in. Gano now following the touchdown here to kick it away. From the six. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And last time, one play interception. So this offense, they should be fresh. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. And I can't wait to see what they decide to do with play calling. Because a one play drive where you throw an interception, a lot of people think the very next time out, run the football, don't give them a chance. Maybe play action. I think maybe you go play action, show your quarterback, get a little confidence in it, and let him fling another one. First down yardage on the first play of the drive. Give him 14. Let's go! Let's go. After Let's go. one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter from KC. It's the Chiefs in possession of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. Working from the gun, Mahomes. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And that is incomplete. I know you thought that touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. And he's going to get this past the 50 and into Giant territory. Five yards, now it's third and five. To throw, it's Mahomes. And this one caught by Travis Kelsey. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. First catch on that one from Kelsey, and it's a first down. Normally on third down and short yards, you're thinking of throwing to your tight end. It's just going to be a simple chain mover. But this time they let him roam down the field, and a nice dart picks up the first down, and then some. They go play action. Now Mahomes. It's Hill, complete. The completion, but they go in the wrong direction. A loss of yards, and now they're dealing with a second and long. Now Mahomes. He finds McKinnon, complete. They showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. The tight end, Kelsey, has it over the middle. And he will have the Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's 
well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they have to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field, right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there. And in for the Chiefs touchdown. Noah Gray with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Chiefs are an extra point away from tying up this football game. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have. You absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive. They've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. Extra point by Butker is on target, and we are tied here in the second quarter. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Here's Dante Pettis on the return. And able to get this out to the 25. The New York set to take the field. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Yeah, this will be a Giants first down as the tackle made here at the 36. Oh, he's got the full package. He can spin, he can juke, he can make you miss, he can drop a shoulder on you. Some of that elusiveness we saw at Penn State has definitely translated to the NFL game. Saquon Barkley hit the proper buttons and turned him loose. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And he'll get it out a couple yards shy of midfield at the 48. Let's go, now it appears we've got a Chief moving pretty gingerly down there. We'll step aside and get an update when we return to Arrowhead. So a solid run by Saquon Barkley and another first and ten here. Going to give this time to the tailback. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. 68 yards for him on the ground so far tonight as he has been terrific in this first half. So now first and ten in Chiefs territory right at the 40. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. To Sean Wharton. Forced his way through. Drops him for a loss of 10 yards. And the timing a bit off that team as that one falls to the ground. The intended target, Saquon Barkley. And now it's third down. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. 20, and he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air, nice chunk of yardage there, and then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. The Giants going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Sacked right around the 17. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. Gano's kick is good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So a good kick there, and they put the bow tie on it with three points. And let's face it, everybody wants a touchdown. We know that. But in the NFL, defenses are awfully good. You're not going to score each and every time. Be able to knock the ball through the post and take the throw. By the way, I said bow tie. I meant just bow. Not Either the, way. Not the tie, but yeah. Either way. You got it. I just went right past it. Well, Chiefs going to go back on offense here late in this first half. 
And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. Now another timeout called for by the offense as it'll come with 36 ticks to go in half number one. Mahomes throw here complete to Kelsey. And he goes out right around the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Throwing now is Mahomes. This one swung out to Williams. And he'll be taken down across the 50 at the 45 in enemy territory. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. On first down, Mahomes. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Final shot before the half for Mahomes. Nifty running there, but it'll come on what should be the final play of half number one. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. And he is out of bounds, but first he gets it inside the 10 to the 7. So we come upon halftime here with the visiting Giants out on top. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. Welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. Let's get you caught up on what's going on around the NFL. We'll start up at MetLife Stadium in New Jersey, where it was definitely a game with some intrigue, as you can see by the scoreline. Joe Burrow, strong in the victory as his guys up their mark to six and two on the year. From there, let's head off and check out a second game. And they were winners as they defeat the visiting New England Patriots. Justin Herbert leading the way in the victory with three touchdown passes. Finally, let's get to the desert to check on the Cardinals at home in Glendale. And they were winners in that one over the visiting Green Bay Packers. A.J. Green, over 100 yards receiving and a touchdown catch as well. With that, let's get a look at the next-gen stats in that first half for the Giants. And they've had some success on the ground. And with the lead going into the second half, they'll no doubt be looking to keep it going. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. And he will not bring it out. It's a touchback. And the Chiefs ready to go on offense to begin quarter number three. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more, but I'd establish the running game. They kind of went away from it in the first half. I think if they get back in balance, it'll help them when they put the ball back in the air. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A really good pickup of 28 yards. And he's top five in the league in terms of receiving yardage because of plays like that. What have you seen from him on film that you like so much? Well, I'll strip away everything else and get to what we call the moment of truth. When the ball's arriving and there's a defender there, he just comes down with the ball. He competes and takes it away. Great hands, great ability to finish the catch. Now the Georgia Southern man, this is Jarek McKinnon. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half, things haven't worked so well in the first go-around, they won't throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it, and they've run it well here to start the second half. From the 31, Mahomes. That's caught. It's Demarcus Robinson. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of five. 25 yards that time. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up with a first and goal. Here's Mahomes to throw. A dump down to McKinnon. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. All 
defense is worried that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Jarek McKinnon, his first touchdown on the year. And the Chiefs are going to jump back in front. Hard to argue with that being their best drive of the game so far as they use the running game to get them into the end zone. Couldn't agree more, partner, prior to that drive. They sputtered a little bit, but it looks like they found the formula. I would expect them to go back to that more and more as this game develops. Extra point by Butker is on target. And the lead is now 14 to 10. So that drives seven plays in length. And it ends with a three-yard scoring run. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Pettis now on the return. Now a hit and a loose football. So a teammate picking him up there, that was nearly disaster. And the way that you coach these things, you, you want to make sure you have eyes towards the return guy because you want to make sure that the catch is secure. And a lot of teams do that. They have at least one guy. Okay, you're responsible for making sure he secures the catch. He's not always the one that makes the recovery, but he can always sound out the alarm. Hey, ball's on the ground. We've got to get it back. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he's up in it after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. Here's Jones from the gun on third down. And Ingram holds it in. And he will have a Giants first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. And opening there on that first down run as he gets this forward for about eight or nine. That looks to be eight officially, so second and two. Running again with Barkley on second down. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. He can just kind of sense the momentum turning here. It's first and 10. Here's a give to Barkley. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 97 yards for him on the ground now. He has been a tough man to bring down all night. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. We're back now in KC. It's the Giants with possession of the football but needing points as we start quarter number four. Meanwhile, Jones throw here taken in by Ingram. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 15 more there, and they're on a roll. It's another first down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch them drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback. Oh, no, he lost the football, and it's picked up by the Chiefs. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. And the Chiefs now getting set to go. They'll be hoping to work a little clock and try to add on to this slim fourth quarter lead. But whatever happens on this drive, certainly a huge fumble recovery by their defense at this juncture. Now a throw for the All-Pro Kelsey is complete. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. To throw again on second down. Mahomes. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over at that time, but it's going to lead to third down. They'll try and run for it. Here's Williams. And down he goes, but the stiff arm utilized effectively there. And it helps him move the sticks. Free 
20 yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Mahomes taps this forward, it's a jet sweep. And the play goes nowhere, losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Now they contend with a second and 12 after the loss. Looking to throw is Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. And the ball is knocked out. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Well, that takeaway, partner, right there, that's a combination of coaching, execution, and absolute belief. Because a lot of guys will look at the scoreboard and go, ah, this thing's pretty well done. But they still thought to themselves, if we can make a play, we give our team, a, we give our teammates a chance to win it. And that's exactly what they did. A throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. To throw again, Jones. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And he's corralled, but not before getting it inside the 35. Give him 18 there, and the Giants have a first down. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10, and mark him at the five. That one nearly 30 yards, 29 officially. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll try and run for it with Barkley. And he's going to get him about three yards closer. He's down to about the two. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And they're knocking on the door. Second and goal now in a one-score game. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Saquon Barkley with his second touchdown of the game and fifth on the year. And the Giants are once again going to retake the lead. So the first drive ended in three. This time they take it down and punch it in the end zone. So that first drive felt like they were just gathering knowledge, didn't it? Just enough to kick the field goal on the first one. And the second time, they put it all together and got it all the way to the end zone. They do tack on the extra point as well. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. This one fielded at the five. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Here comes Mahomes and the Chiefs. Down 17-14, a minute 53 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Here's Mahomes. Fighting Hardman fights through him. And he gets this up just shy of the 30 to the 29 before he's out of bounds. A gain of six there on first. He decided to run a hitch route. It really helped have a guy who could turn it loose. And boy, he rifled one in there on that one. Not much run after catch, but it worked really well. Mahomes to throw it. Looking underneath, and he finds McKinnon. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. Right back to him for ten more and a first. Got a man and he hits him in stride. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. Mahomes, 11 more yards that go around, and he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop him with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Mahomes will throw. And oh, a crusher there as it's intercepted. 
picked off by James Bradbury. And he's going to take this one back to the 37 yard line. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. Down to a knee here. The defense still with a couple of timeouts. We'll see if they want to use them. Now a second timeout called for by the defense. As the clock stops with 23 seconds to go in the game. And they'll indeed take a knee. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. And they will take a knee here. Yeah, it's fun to kneel down in front of your home crowd, but when you go on the road, that band of brothers attitude, right, just us against the world, and get it done, <laughs> how happy are they? I remember a coach at a previous stop telling me, you get a win on the road, doesn't matter the opponent, get out of there like you stole something, and they, <laughs> they did in this one. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end, but they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for the Giants, a loss would have really hurt. As it stands, they finish the first half at 3-5. and five. And they will get another road test next week as they head to Vegas to take on the Raiders. Meanwhile, for the Chiefs, they fall two games under 500 now at 3-5. and five. And they'll have a tough one at home next week against the Green Bay Packers.